I got into interior design because I was looking for to channel the creative energy that I had. I've been doing this for 15 years and I've had my own furniture brand since 2011. So I do know how to cut costs on furniture while sustaining quality. What kind of things do you think of saying? What do you want to? I think. I think people need to know about the business, don't you think? So nine years ago, I designed a shop in King Abdul Aziz International Airport in Jeddah, and it was a food retail shop. And then last summer in August, I signed with that client's sister. Uh, she's also a dear friend. Um, I went for coffee with her last February when I was visiting my family in Jeddah and then she mentioned that she's doing her house and so I suggested I would design it for her uh, and, and then by August we signed and in about June I was sending her, already sending her like mood boards of the projects uh, of, the, of the design theme and um, yeah and she really liked it and then she signed So we have this uh, residential project, it's a penthouse in Saudi, in Jeddah, where I come from. And then uh, we have uh, a client who has, uh, we need to work with a particular budget for this project. And um, the ideal way to fit the budget that she has is to custom make most of the pieces. Uh, so that we can achieve the look um, in the mood board we created with the client. So, I mean, the client has a very lavish taste, and for that lavish taste, we need like a massive budget. But this is quite the challenge. Um, it's a good budget, but still, like um, for the taste the, that she has, we need to most probably manufacture everything. So we're going to manufacture work with this factory. Um, and we're going to figure out a way to um, economize on materials but get that look that she desires. And I think uh, Patrick, who's the owner of the factory, has the more artistic side of things. And then Nicole, who's his wife, she is like very business oriented and, and she's going to work with us on the budget as well. Uh, Patrick. Uh, said mentioned to me that we can make a very like smart suit so we have like a bar counter for example and he said we can make a really uh, affordable bar counter that looks really rich by just making it like floating or something something like that I still have to we're gonna ske be sketching so this is the fun stuff for me and then where I'm working with Ananya my intern who's uh, now uh, on the project as well on uh, getting like furnit affordable furniture as well to compensate for some of the areas so that we can balance the budget out. Um, and then there are a few really good designer items that are super cool that we are going to invest in just to make things pop a bit. So I'm really excited about that. The pictures, if you want to see the actual the concept yeah. images. Yeah, I've sent you the mood board. Yes, got the mood board. Okay. Look at that. So, so what we're going to do is in the mood board, if do you have it here? So it's going to be upholstery work mm -hmm. and then we can provide maybe the fabric as well. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, going to be doable, yeah, right? Yeah, and then So do you want it do you want it quite chunky like there on your plate? Yeah, chunky. So you want it like, you know, quite a standard. Yeah, room. I think chunky. Do you want the flute to and come over the Do you want it to come over the top and then down or do you want it flat where Um what do you mean? This is your headboard. So it's going to be quite chunky. Yeah. And wherever the flutes are, we have a curve, but there. I would want it to be slightly square ish, not too yeah. square ish, but yeah. like curved and not, not like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So not this. So here would be like a frame that goes this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We didn't realize that sofa was so huge. <laughs> what? 
that's 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 your that's your so that's that for me those are very the most important so i'll tell you what we can exclude mm -hmm. from from mm -hmm. like what we're doing and it depends on your budget again finished up we've done uh we went through the floor plan and um all the pieces that i asked them to quote for and then we realized that some of the pieces are a bit over budget and we figured out ways to reduce it and then we realized that there are pieces that i haven't even told them about that they can actually quote for because we found we figured out that there's they there would be more cohesiveness in terms of material so if we use the same material finishes for the cabinets and for some of like the woodwork so i've added some more to their task and then um they're going to quote me for and then we're going to figure out if it matches our budget or not and then the chairs i wanted to customize some chairs and i know from experience that chairs are the most difficult pieces to to custom make and to manufacture so when they said that it's going to be difficult i agreed with them and i'm like okay chairs are off adios adios <laughs> i was just i was just filling him in on what we were doing because he just get what we were doing all this time <laughs> <I was just> <laughs> <first. laughs> so now we're heading straight to um, I'm heading straight home you're coming with me my intern is gonna meet us there because I want to um, do my call on my desktop hi Ali I just tried to log into AutoCAD from the desktop and it's saying licensing is incomplete it's not active so anyways, they said, okay, there it is. So this is for the sculpture chairs, no? This is for the, yeah. And they said that it's so hard to produce, there's no way we can do it in a cost-effective way. And it's gonna cost you so much. Yeah, but then, yeah, but then we economize on the dining table. So we get the dining table that I just sent you in the email. Yeah. The, the do you get what I mean? The Walton Rip? Yeah, that one. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful and it's affordable. It's the mushroom pink. Oh uh, yeah, but I I really like this in one. In this personally. color? I like the shape of this. The so shape I don't like the yeah. color. We were thinking like more beige than than gray. So how do you I want to customize because my Jaboni chairs, but I want to customize it. I feel like I don't want my Instagram to look like a Pinterest board. There's Pinterest for that. We just have to make sure we stick to like a color palette. Like I, my color palette is the same. It's low saturation colors. Yeah. I'm going to stick to that and it's almost... I mean, there's a bit yeah, of variation. What like whatever we choose, if we just stick to it, it'll look just as neat, even without the white Yeah, borders. I think it would still look awesome, yeah. but I think I need to stray away from like those Instagrammable, like cliche Pinterest yeah. photos, whether it's like the mid-century, although I love mid-century interiors, but like the mid-century and like all those like trending pictures I, I want to be... remove and I just want to keep it like architectural, like very bold lines. It's about lines, light, shadow. Do you want to do here first and then once you're finished here, we have some more stuff downstairs that you can browse. Oh really? So that's okay. absolutely fine. Cool. Let me just turn the right. on for you. Yeah. Cool, we're good. Um, so we do pretty much mid-century modern. I know. Um, yeah. Um, and what you see here is about 10% of our collection. So we've got a gallery okay. in Brussels and also in Budapest as well. So Budapest okay. is specialists in Art Deco. Yeah. Um, so they get a lot of really interesting pieces over there. Do you have Art Deco pieces here? We, we, no, not really. We, we, it's no. mid-century modern. No, I mean, this would be the closest. I mean, this, I seems, this to me seems like Art Deco. Uh, this is actually a modern piece. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So believe it or not. So, uh, you know, we've we kind of found that people do the, um, really the style. This really looks like Art Deco. Totally Art Deco. That piece yeah. wasn't mid-century. Oops. Why? Mm. Sorry. Ooh, 
Poor school. Oh my god, be careful. Today is not the day. <sighs> um, do you have it in brass? No? It doesn't come in brass actually. It doesn't? Yeah. But actually, even the chrome one works, don't you think, in any My shades, oh. I'm seeing it in brass for some no, reason. No, I thought it was like a goldish tone. Or yeah, I think it's the, it's the yellow light, yeah. But what do you think? I think it works though. I think it does. Um, what's the best price you can give us for this? It would be about for us. Yeah, for you. We <laughs> need to make a commission, otherwise we can't specify it to the client. <laughs> we don't they, make money out no, of it. No, you wouldn't. You'd see them for more like nine hundred to a thousand, to be honest. That is a, it is can a bargain. Do, can you do a twenty percent for designers discount? That is a four hundred pound would include that. Come on, you can do that. No, 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 I can't. <laughs> We usually give our clients part of our discount, so we really need to, like, right. we would need at least 10% more. But that's what, so you'd want 360? Yeah. Okay, I can do it for 360. Okay, can you take a picture of it yeah. and then we will? Okay. Okay. Right, yeah. Do you have a card? Yeah, yeah, something? just there, just there. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I'll just put, do this so that I can... This light, man. Actually, both of them. Oh, that's, that oh. I want to get those. Can we just not do brass and do this? I. We do give the climb, but we also have to suggest when something is phenomenal. I love these two. I think this works in the TV room, actually. So this is what the stuff we need to talk about, like how are you designing from, like to some people this might not seem realistic, how are you designing from afar? Well I sent a designer who used to be part of the team, of the Interiors team, and now she actually has her own, um, she's doing freelance now, and she is um, experienced, she knows our style of work, and she goes, she took pictures of the, of the space and sent us the file with all the pictures she drew. She did a site survey, drew all the plans, including everything, all the details from door schedules to window schedules to electrical to reflected ceiling plans. And so we have the full technical drawings and we're designing based on that. And I think this is the stuff we need to mention in the video.